we are back with another five tips for beginners in multiverses baby firstly i want to start with learning which moves are cancelable with your character is going to be very important when it comes to playing this game we all know dodge is broken in this game bro this junk is mad good bro and i want to talk about more in depth about your movement options in a separate video wonder woman i have this charge move that i can pretty much cancel at any time that i want before it fully releases and this move for wonder woman is not is not cancelable like i have to wait completely for this move to go through no matter how hard i mash it's not gonna come out she sets up a combo like this right that's a combo because i have a cancelable move so learning your character's cancelable moves and which moves you can throw out safely be able to recover pretty quickly it's gonna be the difference between if you get hit or get a hit on a character the next tip that i'm gonna be having for you guys is learning your character's kill moves every character has a down attack or your down air if you're familiar with smash terms attack button but you're doing down instead every character in this game has a kill move of a down air whether it be off the stage like this you know oh my god my dude is going ham there you go <laughs> whether it be off the stage or on the stage at 140 it's a guaranteed kill characters like harley and aria they usually die a lot faster finn like this the assassins they they'll die at like 120 115 so things like that so knowing when these moves are also going to kill is going to be very important as well can die at 120 yeah, as you can see, she dies at 120 because she's a lighter character. I'm pretty sure she can even die at 115. Yep. So down air is going to be your universal kill option for characters. And then every character has your specific kill option. Wonder Woman, hers is lasso. This move is going gonna, is gonna to kill. This move also kills when they're at a high percentage like that. I think even your fully charged attack things like that so learn your character's kill move and which moves are going to get the job done because it that's what comes down to winning or losing in this game bro so the next tip is going to be edge guarding edge guarding is basically when you knock your opponent off the stage you're going off of the stage to try to confirm that kill and actually get them you'll need to learn your options to catch somebody trying to get back on the stage characters have specific types of moves to help them get back on the stage from edge guarding so learn your character's options off of the ledge how many different specials you have, what you can do to get back. Edge guarding is going to be huge because it's going to be your way to, once you get your opponent off the stage, it's going to be the way that you want to keep them off. And then next, we're going to talk about recovery. Every character in this game, you have two jumps, two specials, and two dodges to get back on the stage. Learning your recovery options, how to get back on the stage, how to like, you know, deal with being here because this is probably one of the most scary things with playing a Smash like game is jumping off. So practicing how to get back on the stage, whether it's different ways you go out, you try to hit, try to hit, and then you go back. Every character is going to have different options. The final tip I want to add is your perks. Learning what perks that your character needs. As you can see, there's all these perks. Try to find what goes good with your character. Experiment. Because there's so many perks. I don't even have all the perks in the game. But there's so many strong perks that you can use. For Wonder Woman, I'm currently using Triple Jump, Snowball, and Tasmania. Other characters are going to take different things. Some characters are going to be out for more damage. Some characters are going to be out for more defense. Some characters are going to be more utility. Things like that. Learning your different perks for your characters is going to be huge. And don't be afraid to spend your gold on these, you know, because when you train a perk, you basically have to spend 100 gold for them to get them. I believe in the last tips video I did, you can get more gold with the bots, bro. So don't be afraid to spend it because you can get it back with matches. Learn what it is that your character can do, whether it be, you know, experimenting, looking up guides. If you guys want to see a perks type video with one of the best perks in the game, which ones you can use, which ones not to use, let me know because I can definitely make something like that if that's something you guys are interested in bring your perks learn what perks go good with your character which is going to take some experimentation i enjoy making these types of informational videos like you know tutorials for you guys just starting out the game because we're all new to the game it's only been out for a month at the time of this recording and we're all trying to get better at the game check out my other multiverses content enjoyable content more informational video to come let me know if you started applying them and if they're helping you or not because i that would be pretty cool bro remember to always smile and have a great day I love you guys, and you guys, peace.